Okay, so today, guys, we are back and we are reviewing hands, and it is with none other than Pete Clark. How are you doing, Pete? I'm good. Let's go. Looking forward to this, Nick. Today, we have got a format that you've been exploring recently and that I had on my channel a while back with Ben and We're going to be quick firing hands, 50 in total, 25 my channel, 25 your channel. Um, and we're going to be going over them as quickly as possible, as quick fire would suggest. Um, and yeah, they're from all, for context, all from the last couple of months, seven weeks, since I got back from Vegas, Pete, I haven't won a fucking pot. So um, we are going to explore the reasons why that might be together, um, you mainly. And um, yeah, we're going to see a descent into madness across the, uh, the sample as I str struggle to find a way to uh, win a single bean in this gaff. Um, excited? Very excited. I'm also very relieved that this is not punt or no punt because it's time the truth came out. You punt think? or no punt is rigged. <laughs> when we play punt or no punt, I always feel like it has to be 2-2 two -two going into the final no, deal come on. hand. Don't do this And I me. feel like I have no control over whether my plays are actually cut, punts or not. Cut, cut, cut. Um, no, that's absolutely not true, obviously. But yeah, no pun or no pun today. We're going to be just thinking about it from my perspective, not so much from villains. And just cracking through, like I said, the 25 hands and then the 25 hands on Pete's channel. So make sure all Pete's stuff will be in, in the description. Talking to Pete's stuff, Pete, anything happened at all recently with the carrot corner side of things? No, mate, absolutely nothing. Cool, let's move on then. No, just kidding. Um, today, <laughs> which is actually two weeks before this video is coming out, this is the 6th of September. And this video, I believe, is going to be out on the 20th. And today, Grade E of the Carrot Poker School dropped. Grade E is our final installment to the Carrot Poker School. There's already three theoretical grades that a lot of your viewers have actually been purchasing with your affiliate code, and we'll, we'll get to what that is in just mm. a second. But Grade E is the mass data one. It's the exploitative course that actually digs deep into the enormous millions upon millions of hand sample of how player pools play. Mm. We've taken data between 50 NL and 200 NL across various sites. We've segregated it into tons of positions, lines, textures, action sequences, player types. We differentiate between regulars and recreationals. So you can see how both sides of the pool are playing certain spots and compare them. And we rate every spot between, well, it was one in five. Then we found there were many crazy spots. It was so unbalanced that we introduced numbers like nine and negative three and stuff like that, minus three. So we have certain spots that you're going to see in Grady e where you have to make the most obscene adjustments ever, that you will not believe just how unbalanced people are mm. in some of these spots. But that's not all. Also, you can now watch everything on Carrot Corner through the media library. It's like a proper business now. It's like an actual legitimate website, finally, where you can press play upon making a purchase and watch that course. So, um, And of course, Nick, as you know, your viewers can get 15% mm. off with code EASTY at checkout on all Carrot Corner merchandise. What could be better, guys, to celebrate the two-week anniversary of Grady launching by getting 15% off with Code Easty? And this stuff, guys, is huge. The MDA stuff, super, super popular recently. Um, and yeah, just hugely valuable in the way that Pete presents it. You're going to be able to understand it super well. Could not recommend it enough. Um, I'll, say, I'll say one final thing on that. And yeah. that's that usually when you face like a big river bet, just for mm. context, your blockers might swing your equity by like 2%. Yeah. But MDA stuff can swing it by like 16%, 18%. Mm. So you could say that MDA and knowing like how spots are played is eight to nine times more important than blockers in some spots. Yeah. There'll be lots of that to delve into today. If you want to make any nice little segues into grade E as we go. Sure. Um, can't give away all the secrets yeah. no. in this video though. Otherwise, yeah. you know, we lose revenue. So that's the way it works. That's, that's true. Right, guys, like I said, quick fire review, 25 hands on my channel to go. I've done my fucking bollocks since I got back from Vegas. $1,000 downswing, and Pete is here to save the fucking day. Ready? Let's do it. Right, let's go. Just, just a note, guys, my computer is doing that thing it does only at the very opportune time where I'm recording. So if we have any, you know, sharp edits, it's because my computer's died again and Pete's pulling his hair out. Um... So, ready, Pete? Hopefully, we don't have any issues. We've got Ace Three of Clubs. Happy to open it, I suppose. Yep. Get three bet. We'll give you the opportunity at each interesting node to. Well, I'm fighting the temptation thoughts. right now to pretend that I can't hear you or something to fuck with you. But I've managed <laughs> fuck to, off. Like, Honestly. I've actually <laughs> managed to suppress that now, and now I'm ready yeah. to, to give you feedback on the hand. Yeah. yeah, so all three ways are probably really close here, calling folding, four betting, whatever. All okay. good. All close. So we call and we're not going to talk about that too much. We do call, we check, they bet small. 
Yep, looks like a pure call. I think you can begin yep. raising for value more than most people do, but mm-hmm. a bit bigger than this, maybe ace-10, ace-jack, ace-queen, yep. plus, and then some other weird hands that we won't go into. Yeah, for reference, this is a reg, so. Okay. Cool. Queen on the turn, and they bet two-thirds pot-ish. Mm-hmm. Yep. Less. So I do think our hand is, quote-unquote, a bluff catcher, meaning mm-hmm. that we only beat bluffs and don't beat any value, but yep. that doesn't mean that we're necessarily indifferent. There's going to be good bluff catchers, there's going to be average ones, there's going to be bad ones, and this one is definitely a really good one. You unblock a ton of bluffs, you have the toppest pair, so villain can't redraw to one pair outs against you. Must be a pure call. We continue with a call. Six of spades, check, all in. Yeah, so my first thoughts here are that we unblock bluffs in a pretty pure way, although mm-hmm. not quite as well as we would against other positions. Like, the three is not really a part of many three-bit ranges, but if it is ever going to show up, then maybe Jack 3 suited could be the blind versus blind three-bit bluff hand sometimes. But, like, I think when you unblock cards, like a nine, a ten, a jack, a king, this is going to be where most of the bluffs are coming from. You also block, like, the most value possible while blocking the least bluffs possible without having two pair yeah. when you have a hand like ace-three. So I think this just goes ahead and probably calls mostly, if not always, in GTO. And exploitatively, this is extremely player dependent. So some people who have a, like if a fish plays this way and they have a 4% three bet stat, they're just going to have such a linear range pre that their worst hand is pocket nines and they're not bluffing that. So they're never bluffing. And if a reg play this way, plays this way, who's capable of, you know, three betting jack 10 off and capable of jack nine off and stuff like this pre flop, then this could be grossly over bluffed. Um, mm. So it's super player dependent, but with the description I have right now of reg, I would just call here and just stick to the, the roadmap. That's what I decided to do. I'd be concerned that like their one diamond jack 10, one diamond king jack, stuff like this, was like, oh, I've got a heart, I can't bluff the river. So I, I think it might be under bluff, but I've just flicked it in anyway. I don't, I don't know if that means it's under bluff. There's so few value combos that can actually go for three streets here. Like, is this a, a value combo? People, yeah, this is a value combo. I mean, you're, you're good <laughs> oh, at running oh, okay. into those recently. I think. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's bluffing with second set. I mean, maybe he's trying to get you off aces, you yeah. know, in case he wants you to think he's got 7-5, but no, I don't think so. Yeah. So I think what's happening here is like the value region is like ace-jack plus for some, ace-king plus for others. Yeah. That's not a lot of combos, especially since fours and sixes aren't really in range here. And, yeah. you know, it doesn't take a lot to be over bluffing here because all you have to do is three bet a few bluffs pre and then like keep going. So I don't think it's like that under bluffed or anything from a decent mm-hmm. reg at all. Yeah, okay. Um, next hand. How do I go to the next hand on this thing? I can't fucking remember. You've replayed just that one hand. You've not done replay. Oh hands, fuck! Plural. Okay, back in a sec. And there we go. Next hand, just like that. Easy. The magic of editing, which I'm so very good at. Uh, Ace King. We open three bet from same player. By the way. Mm-hmm. And what do you want to do? Um, either option. Don't fold. That's it. Don't fold. A four bet. And we're very deep, by the way. So we're yeah, using. I still, this, think, I still think either option. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it changes it. I think you can yeah. still. If, if you do face like a rep, like you don't really want to fail Ace King off for 200 mm-hmm. big blinds, but you can still form it in the first instance to deny equity and put, the, sure. put some money in the pot and survive, and it's fine. Yep. Uh, Queen five deuce. Okay, so hmm, I think the Queen is like one of the worst Broadways to appear on its own. Five and a deuce are kind of irrelevant here because they're not three bet in the first place set wise. You'll you'll notice that because we're deep, I'm placing a lot more emphasis on the sets as a part of range versus range analysis than I normally would, right? Yeah. Because if we were like a hundred BBs deep, I would just say, well, if he has a set, he has a set a lot of the time, and we have an overpair. But mm-hmm. I think here we don't want to bet range. We probably want to play some checks. I think this hand can still bet off and um better check seem good, but I'd bet I'd bet mostly here probably. Okay. We do bet. Yep. Decent sizing as well. I think you can go. Third, I think you can go half. The yep. less sets they have, the more you can use half pot here. So because it's literally just queens that makes a set here, yep. I think you can also use half pot. Mm-hmm. Um, they call turn four of spades. Um, really frequent bet. Yep. I don't hate check with the plan of check call. Okay. I don't think you get to jam the non-nut flush draw in this node, despite the extra equity. So I don't think you get to check jam. Mm-hmm exploitatively speaking, I think this will be overfolded now with your blocker if you just triple off. So I'm probably in blast the load here, to be honest, in the exploitative world. Okay. Uh, we like, bet again yeah. for this sizing, they call. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. And blast the short all in. Yep. Cool. Good. Top Love step, it. shock. Um, yeah. Two, so- two top sets for this player in a row. 
what, yeah, what you're shock. playing really well. Like you're not shying away from big pots when you have hands that are supposed to be okay, best. Yeah. You're doing what you're meant Hold to Hold that so thought far. after two hands. Okay, I haven't lost my mind yet. We're, we're early days. We're doing chronological order. So yeah. Let's go for 23 out of 25 played correctly. Okay. okay. Let's do this. Come we'll, on. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, so yeah, not all of them are all in. Not all of them are, you know, I know you like to review spots where like they might fold mm. turns and stuff. So I've kept a lot in. Oh, cool. this is this is a fair. Oh, a, a bit early for this one. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, right. this is what you want. Most people have stopped watching by now. It's YouTube. No, you can't. You can't. Oh, by the way, guys, if you if you haven't already stopped watching, then please do drop a like and also go and follow, um, subscribe to uh, Pete Clark as well because there'll be part Carrot. two on there. Carrot Corner. Carrot Corner. Poker Education. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It will be it will be available to, down below. But like the video, guys, it really helps. We go for the three bet with kings. If not for if not for anything, then for this hand, <laughs> we get four bet. Mm, how deep are we man this is an awkward stack size for kings isn't yeah, it this yeah. is like really annoying um i think here you can play five bet with aces and kings yeah and some bluffs yeah and you probably don't want to five bet like jacks here i wouldn't think um i don't know i'm really quite horrible 200 big blinds deep though compared to my normal 100 bb game but i would think well, you can call i think you can probably call here yeah because the investment ceiling for kings is not the same as what it is normally like there's a bigger downside now to running into aces you mm -hmm. probably just call here yeah but i think there's still five bet at this sbr in these late position spots there are spots where like the five bet range disappears entirely at the stack mm -hmm. depth though but probably not button small blind okay usually i never play five bets and this time i just randomly decided to play five bets okay and they six bet clicked oh my god <laughs> Oh my god, man. Oh god. I mean, they probably have aces like five out of six times here or something like that. Is that all? Um, yeah, maybe it's worse. I think you just peel it and try and bink a king on them. Like you're getting Yeah. You need to you need to pay like twenty six and sixteen percent and I flop a set how often? Eighteen. Not, so we're not good. that no, not that often. You flop a set like thirteen percent of the time. Oh come on. I flop a set eighteen percent. That's me. If you flop a set eighteen percent of the time, then you should come. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but the thing is, it doesn't matter because of, like that ignores implied odds, right? So obviously yeah. the fact is that if we flop a set, we get the yeah, other yeah, one. Yeah, sure, so sure. of course we call. We just call yeah. here. And then if we don't flop a set, we just fold the flop. Okay. I'm willing to go that far with the exploit. I don't give a fuck. Like, okay. I don't care that we have... 35 big ones. <laughs> Can I drop F-bombs on this channel? Is that, is that like... Excuse me? Like that's, if you don't, then we don't, get, we don't bring you back. Okay. So I would fold here. <laughs> yeah. Because you have literally just faced a range yeah. that is aces. Yeah. Like at least 80% of the time pre. Yeah. Yeah. And if it was Queens by some weird anomaly, it's yeah. now got a set. Yeah. And like, I just don't think people are six bet click back bluffing without some like, unless this is like Stream Hunters kind of anonymous in disguise going after you. I don't know who this is. I don't know right. who it is. So I would fold right now. Keep it case, guys. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. That is such a good goal. Yes. I'm so impressed. Yes. So MDA, impressed. guys. Carrot corner, grade E. Let's Don't fucking go. Don't need MDA for that shit. That's called rational human cognition. All you need to know is like what yeah. people are and what their brains are made of. It's mostly yeah. carbon. And I don't think at the end of this sample, I would have laid this down. But at the start, we were playing, you know, we dialed, such guys. Such a good fold. It yeah. takes so much like discipline to make that yeah. fold. That's heroic. That's the fold of a lion, Nick. <laughs> I am. A lion. I have to do this on stream as well. Then everyone's watching me fold kings. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know what the fuck they're yeah. talking about. They're yeah, in the chat like, oh, true, this is shit. No wonder he's down a K, but really you've just like limited it. You should be yeah. down like three the way yeah. you're running. True. Yeah. Open king, queen off. Get a call. Jack nine three. Okay. I uh, see bet small. Mm -hmm. They call. Mm -hmm. Four four hearts. Yeah. Um... I don't know what your toolkit is here, but you can play block 75 over bet, check, like you can do almost anything. My toolkit involves pressing the 2E button. Yep, that's definitely, if you're simplifying to like mostly 2E, yep. then this hand frequently 2Es. Yep. yep. Cool. Could also check raise or check call though. Mm -hmm. Ace of hearts. Oh, I guess this is whatever. Uh, all in. All in. Yeah, cool. you're, you're literally nailing every spot. It's like four <laughs> out of four. You should be the one selling the poker courses here. Oh, you think? Flush. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Right, let's go. Um, running into what they call tor, top of range. Yeah, that's what's happening. I'm very extremely tor. good at that. Uh, four, just three made of up clubs. Tor, like, right okay, now, here we go. First, not... this is a this this might this might be my first. Uh... Oopsie. Okay, we're opening four three clubs. Don't know this guy. Cool. Mm -hmm. Flop a pair. Check. Range check. Yeah, check everything. I bet some horrible board. Uh, call. Call. Five of clubs. Check. Check everything. 
Six big blinds. Just raise because it's like a random fetch with too many marriages. Just raise. Okay. 18. Three yeah. bets of 48. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> um, I've got a straight flush draw. You have a straight flush draw, but it's only one out and there's like no money behind in relation to the pot. Oh, oh yeah, I have to assume my other green ones are, are outs as well, I think. Oh, you, you, of course you do have, yeah, you've got one out to the straight flush. So, so you call and be prepared. Like, what's the point of jamming here? Like, I don't really get the point of jamming here. Like, what would it be? The, to free roll a 4x. You roll a 4x. But then you hit a flush and you just rip the river anyway. I'm playing devil anyway. advocate. I'm playing devil, devil's advocate here. I don't think I should shove. No, I don't think you should. I think you should call. Yep. Uh, cool. Okay, here we go. Bang it in. Close the door. <laughs> um bad i wouldn't say terrible i mean it's it's not a fold yeah the thing is like it's not impossible that he just has some absolute freak out mm. and you are grossly minimizing ev from a freak out here like if yeah. this guy just has like jack 10 yeah and it's just like on some bender or it's just like tilted yeah it's super unusual but like i just don't see what it really gains that calling doesn't and that's why i just wouldn't bother mm -hmm. um but i do i don't think it's like horrible okay shock nuts yeah the thing is in this spot it's uber gross because the guy can have 9 8 off as well and yeah, that's why yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. disgusting yeah and in fact good. like that's why you just get torched so often here because yeah. it's like literally 16 unblocked combos of the nizzles yeah. is really bad yeah F solid turn card though i'll tell you that yeah um pocket nines oh this is weird as well interesting one for you a three bet cold four bet mm. Um, this a reg, I take it, from the sizing looks... Yeah, this is, end. this is, uh, a reg, yeah. Um, I don't know my theory here. I think you just call nines and jam tens would be my guess. Um, or you mix tens. Cool. I yeah, think but... you call nines, yeah. We're not verifying any of your claims, so don't worry about it. People might. <laughs> I know that you call nines. Everybody. Yeah. Um, I check. They bet 15 big blinds. Um, I think you can play raise or call here okay i don't think it matters i think raise is fine because you're risking nothing compared to the pot like sure you're risking 80 bigs but what does 80 bigs mean when the pot's Would already you jam 60 if you... bigs yeah okay there's no other sizing right like if you call the pot's 80 already mm. you're jamming for like another 65 so you may as well just jam or call here i don't really care i yeah. call five of spades check all in um I call, like, you just unblock most bluffs in this spot, and I don't think I'm folding nines here against the rig. That said, it depends on player type of bet. Like, there's some regs that just really under bluff pre. I, I think this, it might be a, it might be a tighter reg if that if that helps at all, but I can't, mm. I can't really sway on either side. Like, it's just a reg, it's just a whatever. Yeah, I just, I just have a really hard time folding in a spot like this, to be honest. I don't think there's anything wrong with sticking this in. It's mm. probably lower EV than it's meant to be in game theory, though, to call. Yeah, I rolled half and folded. Okay. I don't I don't hate it. I just think, like, you're, if you think about your range there, yeah, that is probably one of the best hands that you have yeah. um, in terms of, like, calling blockers because the nine, like, really unblocks, like, most of their bluffing range and you don't really have, like, jacks, tens, queens very often because you rip them pre. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I mean, if you if you think the guy's really tight, then you can make a big exploit fold there. Like, it's okay, but I do think it's throwing away some money, theoretically, to fold there, probably. Fair enough. Uh, okay, so this one is a bit different. We open a reg, three bets, and we mix four bet and core. Mm -hmm. End up four betting. Mm -hmm. They're cool. Okay. Mono spades. And I'm going to use, I think, 10% check. Yep. They call. And then they check to me on a king. Interesting. Well, there's clearly a lot of showdown value in theory still. Mm. I think theory. But then again, I mean, when I think about your range here, there isn't a whole lot worse than this. Yeah. Based on your lack of offsuit cards here. If yeah. you don't have ace jack off in this spot, for example, you might have some ace queen off. Yeah. Um yeah, I don't I don't mind actually. Like I'm wondering whether they will meet a defense frequency here if they start checking and calling. Mm. I wonder if they're just gonna have 
way too many combos of like nines through queens. In fact, I wonder if like their range isn't just massively overly overpopulated by nines through queens here. And stuff like, I don't know, worse hands like ace queen, but hands that might be winning the pot from you in one way or another later. Like if yeah. you if you check here. So yeah, I think I think you can start bluffing with this. I think it's low enough down in your range. I think it benefits a lot from fold equity. And I think that there's just a massive density of hands and villains range. And I know that your boy Jared, your your coach, I don't know if you're still coached by Jared or not, but he um is a big fan of the thought process of like if tons of villains range is feeling terrible about life, if you yeah. take a certain line, that's probably a fold equity maximizing yeah. um I mass agree. data approved line. So I think just yeah. bluffing here's the the MDA play for sure. I agree. And I think I just fall into the trap of, oh, I've got a five, I can show down because I have a pair, but really, mm -hmm. realistically, I'm just gonna not win and offer enough so I well, do you will win sometimes but then the the trick is here that you have to compare the ev of the blast off plan yeah, yeah. to the ev of the check plan and if you think that the the former is better then you should still do it even if both are plus ev yeah the goal isn't to do something that's plus ev it's to take the highest ev line so always compare and compare your yeah. options so yeah. i do end up checking this back but i think you're definitely right and yeah i mean they may not fold hands like jacks with the spade because they're incredible flush blockers without blocking bluffs so like in theory yeah. that's a great call down for villain but i do think there's too many combos like nines no spade that are like over yeah. over represented in that range now compared yeah. to what they should be so yeah people do love calling me down i talk myself out of a lot of stuff on that yeah. basis um yeah. five four suited here we go for the pure three bet they call okay not the best thoughts uh depends what you're constructing with i think you can build big bets here i think you can build small bets i think you have a lot of um 10x in your range here when you're yeah. blind versus blind so using the small bet makes the most sense to me intuitively here but i don't i don't really care half pot's good it's a meeting in the middle kind of mm. thing yep you could always check as well like yeah. these boards blind versus blind are not probably not quite range bet but they're they're up there we do bet half pot they call turn is i mean pretty much one of the only cards i'm probably going to consider barreling i suppose with this hand i actually think this might be a pure check because you have exactly the kind of equity that yeah, doesn't want to despise this being jammed on yeah i think it's danger yeah. zone equity yeah so reopening in position like if you're out of position okay yeah. you can bet because like the action's already open and you don't have free passage to the river by checking but in this situation theoretically speaking you have exactly the right amount of equity mm. to absolutely hate life when villain jams so if you have pot here out of position is actually really theoretically incentivized to jam their ace jack king jack draws all this sort of stuff yeah and four or five is one of the hands that gets hurt the most by that so i would say that you want to get out of the habit here of betting hands like four or five king queen probably and like yeah. bad flushes at this yeah. sbr i think those probably become checks i could be wrong about that but here's the thing the solver is quite particular about where it jams and where it doesn't mm. so like the solver might be jamming a lot in one spot but not in others and that might dictate your strategy but if you think that your pool is jamming a lot in this spot or even a decent amount of the time in this spot then probably you shouldn't bet the four or five of diamonds fair enough uh, i think i might find a check here no i don't mm -hmm. um bet call yeah and rivers of five Ugh. Ugh. i mean yeah you, you just check because you went against ace queen that still exists and you have some showdown value and you have the wrong blockers to give you excess fold equity so unless you think this is really overfolded you check have a check here yeah i do check and they have ace 10. nice good hand i mean i don't know about turn probably you should yeah. turn but yeah, 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 yeah. Really good. Right. i like that you didn't bluff uh ace king suited um big blind three bet we call mm -hmm. we are 130 deep mm -hmm. uh queen eight five two spades they bet small probably a pure call or a raise uh, i think you can build some raise here as mm -hmm. well like 2.5x back is a pretty nice way to say fuck you to people here and make their miserable range yeah. bet existence even worse for them so yeah, yeah. i think this might be a fish i'm not certain mm -hmm. uh they check the turn um so in theory this is probably mandatory not mandatory it's probably ugh, it might be mandatory it's definitely high frequency like b60 or mm. b75 mm -hmm. maybe you could go pot at this sbr as well um and probably you're allowed to check but i'm not sure i like checking practice because i think this range is more condensed here and more protective and less air heavy yeah. so i don't really think block i don't really think check performs that well in real life so what i'm kind of doing there like for the audience is i'm, I'm sort of saying here are two lines like this is the theoretical mm. choice between them they're both kind of viable in practice here's a difference 
in the real world compared to the theory world that makes one better than the other. So I like I like betting here for sure. I bet two thirds pot and the goal in. I mean, ugh. <laughs> I mean, like they they have ace king like you have a value chopper you yeah all bluffs you unblock all bluffs i'm not folding i'm not happy but i'm not folding this is exactly my thoughts would you were you yeah. expecting the the pocket five buggy from the big blind not so much no. <laughs> not so much anyway well, that's what they've got good turn card again um ducks open the button big blind call flop a set cool and i bet small mm -hmm. it's very very small um is this a reg yeah i'm not going to check because yeah. otherwise we'll get too far in the weeds but i think this that's is that's fine i think i think three bet and call are both okay okay they call ace turn mm -hmm. a bit small mostly call i would guess yeah and river queen over bet just call okay i don't think we we fold here straight yeah i'm lucky okay that's fine. There will be some guys that are just not that interesting, but I've picked, I've got to pick 50 hands. That's a lot of hands. Um, so yeah. I did 50 once in one video and it was yeah. hell. By the end of it, I just wanted to lie in a cupboard yeah. and close the door. <laughs> well, we're doing 50 today, lad. So, <laughs> um, well, not 25 on Pete's channel, remember, guys. Carrot Corner Poker Education. Three betting aces. Good hand, I've heard. Um, they call Jack 10 10. Yep. Oh, I remember this one. I bet small. Mm -hmm. They you raise go here if you to, want. You can also go small. They raise to a million big blinds. Basically saying I've got to ten or something. The thing is, like when fish do this, this is not are... a fish. This is oh, a... God, really? This is a reg. This is fucking outrageous. Then, like, does this guy just have king ten? Well, he's a, he might not be a very like... good reg, but he is. He's right. there a lot, and he does some. He, and, and my note on them says getting out of line. That is the right, note okay. that I have. Well. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd probably just call. Like, yeah. I think it's it's a fine call. I mean, when a fish does this, they sometimes freak out and they just have, like, literally random hands. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. A jack and a, a draw and stuff I mean, like you could that, argue so. they're a fish, I think. But that they, they sometimes just turn up with the fucking some unreal shit. Yeah. Uh, probably bought grade E. Um, <laughs> eight of clubs on the turn. All in. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Yeah, I think there's just too many. Like, are they the kind of? It's just one. I know we don't want to get too into the weeds, but are they the kind of like loose player that like calls king queen off through a three bet? Like, are they that kind of loose? Like, like bad mostly loose three... post flop bonkers, and they do a lot of right. small three betting. Mm. But yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to try and like convince you too much of like one particular. I'm not. Thing I'm either. not folding because like oh, there's okay. too many king queen ace queen. And with the player type read, I just feel like for value, they're literally saying they have a 10. Mm. Like they don't have queen nine pre if they don't have king queen off pre. Like if they have queen nine pre, they probably have king queen off pre sometimes. And if they have like nine seven pre, why can't they have king queen off pre? So yeah. if you want to start putting straights in their range, I think you have to put like more bluffs in there too. And we know they have a propensity to bluff and we need 35% and we have boat redraw get strips. So, well, not much, but we have some. So I would, I would stick it in here, Nick. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. With okay. Yep. Yeah. Queen 10. Cool. Yeah, Sylvie. It's going to happen a lot. You know, you're going to run into yeah, that, yeah. but there's just too many. Like, because Ace Queen is double gutter on the turn, and because they could have, they could have Ace Queen off, I yeah. think it's just like way too far for us to fold there. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're playing 50 0 here. We've got King 3 of Diamonds on the button. We open Eddie Mora calls, who is a tight ish reg. Mm -hmm. uh, Queen 4 Deuce Rainbow. I can't remember what I did, but I imagine I roll for small bets and bet small. Mm -hmm. um eddie calls turn 10 of hearts check um king three here it's a really good turn for range you can definitely bluff this is definitely an optional bluff in theory so i like we on the, in my channel we call this the double pretender mm -hmm. and we call it that because it, it can block straights on multiple runouts <laughs> so an ace nine <laughs> I like it. Five, six. Yeah. And so it can pretend to have a straight on multiple runouts and blocks them. So um, double pretender, shout out to James. You, you also just have an overcard, right? So you yeah, just have sure. a king that's yeah. like a really good out and that's yeah. better than having like nine, three, not that you'd open that, but just yeah. for a random example of a hand. Uh, so yeah, I think like on such a good turn, you can definitely yeah. bluff here with this hand. 150 deep, what sizing? 
I mean, I'm only really playing overbet here. Like, I'm not really playing any B75 on a 10, yeah. I don't think. If it's the other way around, the 10 is on the flop, the queen is the turn, I would play some B75, but not on this layout. I do overbet and Eddie calls, and the rivet is a 5. Yeah, I like this. Eddie this, is triple. I think this, is, this is a pure one. This combo is a pure one in theory, yeah. and I don't have a reason. You've not given me a reason not to do it, so I will bluff, and if you made me pick a sizing, I think all in's pretty good here. Like, all in's fine. Yeah, he should have all. a lot of ace three. I think all in's good. I think if um, I've gone 2e on the turn, like, sometimes I see 150 deep, I press the 2e button, and it's like fucking 25 big blinds, I get into eight, and I'm like, uh, I'm not going to do that. But I think mm -hmm. Jared particularly would like me to do that. Uh, I decided not to do this time, went for like 133, and then just went for mm -hmm. a 133 on the river. The thing is, you have value hands of all sort of categories here, so you can definitely include like a, a B75, a B150, and all in. Yeah. All of these things are good. Like, if you made me guess, like, what is going to, what's villain going to play the worst against? Mm. Um, I would suspect that by the time you get to all in here, like all of the non one, all of the like one pair are probably just overfolding. Like they're going to have to call some one pair to all in, yeah. and most people won't. So I think all in might be the trick here. But this is also nice. Like this is a good line. Yeah. I think your hands are pure bluff for sure. Yeah, I'd like to be and then all in on river, but on the turn, um, and then we get called by ace ten. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I so sometimes like when people call big bets on the turn yeah sometimes it takes like an, an even bigger yeah, yeah, size agreed, relatively yeah. speaking to wake them up out of their sort of i've already chosen fight or flight yeah. sort of thought process you know so i, I yeah. think sometimes like you can just forex pot river there and do pretty well i agree with you mm -hmm. five four hearts we open this is the same player from the queen 10 hand um we call yep. flop a straight flush draw and they bet small so this one you can raise so even though you can face jam here you, or you could face the three bet like you yeah. have so much equity that you probably can raise here and deep i think like the straight flush outs are even better than normal so i like this i think you can also call them they raise i raise they call turn ace and they check so i think whenever you're at an sbr like this with a hand like this not to be a wet blanket but you do need to kind of ask yourself like do i want to reopen the action at sbrs like this because let's say you bet 36 big blinds here or mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. and they are not slow playing ace seven ace king aces and kings as often as they're meant to which is probably a fair bet yeah at this sbr because you're really polar here um you do have as double flush draw, so maybe that's a bit less than normal but yeah they're probably meant to slow play a lot here mm. and not jam that much and if a, if a solver says you can bet the turn because they're usually not meant to jam but then you think your opponents are jamming loads of those hands especially given the read on this guy he's a bit crazy right i yeah. would definitely check here like there's no way i want to bet here because i just feel like it's fine in theory to check and if it's different in reality i think like bet is getting worse against a player like this so yeah. i have a check yeah i think in, in game i decided the same as well because this guy's just going to shut the fucking door like quite often against me and i'm going to just be like oh i've got five high i don't want to call so i did well you've squandered so much ev yeah, when yeah, that yeah. happens right like it's just horrible yeah. so yeah i like it and then they bet the river and I'm, i imagine we're going to fold i don't think we can pull the hero <laughs> all in with five four here yeah, we do fold this I was about to click the next button, but I was like, maybe people will think that I went all in or something and I'm trying to hide it. I get accused of that all the time. Like, my editor <laughs> yeah. cuts out like four seconds yeah. of downtime and they're like, this guy's hiding, he's losing <laughs> yeah. pots. It's like, bro, yeah. I got stacked four times in this video. What's wrong with you? It happens a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I, I, there's everything you can find on my hands anyway. My Twitch, it doesn't matter. I don't play off stream. Um, tens here. We're deep again. Sorry, mate. Out of your comfort zone, but that's how things are. So um, we call a three bet. Four eight jack, and mm -hmm. they bet like fifty four or whatever this is. I wonder if we're allowed to fold already. Yeah, and maybe tens with the diamond is just extreme better than this because not only I mean, do we have better. backdoor flush draw, but we also can hit a non diamond set. Exactly, that's such a yeah. big thing that people like. I can tell that you've been coached by someone decent because the non diamond set thing is actually a very big part of that pattern. It's yeah. less about like the okay backdooring the flush is nice sometimes but that's a huge thing like how, how yeah. good are your outs what quality yeah. are they yeah i may know but that people. i'm not still... gonna fucking fold am i so <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a fold i yeah, just yeah, think yeah. Like, this is an indifferent hand in terms yeah. of the diamond is a pure call like let's just say that yeah i agree with you whatever basically they check the turn uh so you can play small bet or check we can play a quarter pot or check it doesn't really matter yeah. i agree you with you play a lot of small bet in this spot mm -hmm. with your range like that should be your primary sizing i think 10 of clubs who cares Ooh. about diamonds check oh god how do we lose this hand who says we lose i don't know I just, you've lost like every hand so far <laughs> so i'm just gonna assume it. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i mean 
okay, what's going on? They just never have an overpair. They rarely have a jack, but they will sometimes. I'm just thinking, like, in real life, if we want to, like, deviate from the playbook here. I think I would just bet something really big. I don't really care that much about sizing. I feel quite impartial between, like, B75 and B150 here. I don't really mind. Mm, Jam's agree. another option. I don't think Jam's, like, ridiculous, think... but it is a bit yeah. weird. I think I might have mixed this river for sizes and I end up with yeah. two-thirds. I, I can't really remember a few weeks ago, but yeah. uh, they go all in. God, I mean, like, you, you can't fold tens, surely. Like, I mean, yeah, they're going to have jacks a lot, but... So what, what are you about? You, I, can't, I can't fold tens, but, like... Well, you have a value beater, right? Like, they could have eights here. Like, it's not impossible at all. Like, they could have... Do they? I don't know if they do. I mean, occasionally. Yeah, sure, but, like, I don't think they check the, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I... Yeah, I agree with you. I, I didn't think about it in-game. I see. Yeah, but I, I, mean, I, it I think might, it's just. I think it's just this only. It might be one of these spots where it's jacks way more often than any human is ever willing to admit. But yes. I still don't think there's a human on the planet that folds in that spot, even if that's true. Yeah. Um. Maybe it's a fold, but I don't know. It seems quite a big conclusion to jump to. Yeah. I don't know. I would call, but I wouldn't yeah. love it. This one is well, also didn't... queen nine, but that shouldn't really three bet from small blind very often. So I yeah. think if you're against big blind, then you can talk about folding. I think this guy was a guy that turned up and he was like a viewer and um, I think that might be why I didn't think about river. But I think against the random, I might consider folding this river, but I think that's just that's so fucking sick. ridiculous. But that's, uh, but that's, so... that's the state of poker. That's why we do MDA, Pete. Yeah. That's why we do grade E because everyone's yeah. a fucking stain. <laughs> I will say that that exact line isn't in grade E because it's far too yeah. rare to qualify. We mainly cover important spots for yeah, win rate, yeah, yeah, but yeah, 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 it's a fair point. Understood. Yep. Um, Pocket eights, three bet. This is the reg from the first two hands where they had queens both times. Mm -hmm. um, they four bet and we pure call. Yep. Uh, deep again. Check, check. Mm -hmm. Nine of spades. Mm. I think you can go like B20 or check probably. Something I like that. Do I don't think you can go more than that. Check, yep. they bet small. Oh. Call. Call, call, call. Six of hearts, check. Um. Yeah. Really good bluff catcher. Pretty frequent call in theory, I would imagine. Maybe a pure call in theory. Like maybe this doesn't ever fold. Does yeah. that matter, Pete? <laughs> well, I'm here promoting an MDA course. Well, well, let me well let me tell you. Like that line, check bet bet, mm. is really dependent on like the base range. So like this is an MDA secret secret from Grady. So like if you're in a three bet pot in late position then a line like this is actually slightly over bluffed to to balance it's like around balanced or slightly over bluffed usually yeah more balanced than anything else it's like a three out of five if this is under the gun this is such valuable information by the way a lot of people don't even know this but if this is under the gun against small blind then a yeah. line like this is going to be really under bluffed so it really matters like how wide that base range is pre like the fact that king queen off exists in these positions really matters mm -hmm. so i don't think against the decent reg that we should just be throwing out this i know you're running bad right now and it might be tempting but i think we should resist the temptation to be like pool doesn't bluff they're under bluffing they don't bluff enough everything's under bluffed because that's not actually true and if people take grade e they'll see that yeah there are loads of spots that, that fit that bell and there are others that really don't so i i'm just i'm just not deviating here because i don't think i have a reason to based on the mda it's not that i'm ignoring the mda it's just that it doesn't actually tell me to deviate that hard here. Mm -hmm. Me to win 28% of the time. Surely we fucking yeah. do. I do Maybe. call. And it's okay. nuts. Shock. Um, it's okay. People are bad at checking back over pairs on the flop as well. That's another reason that this spot is unlikely to be severely under bluffed. Is that yeah. People just aren't good at checking back like queens, kings, aces here. Yeah. I think aces they find, but definitely don't find Sometimes. Queens. Yeah, sometimes. Um, back at 50 here. Jobster again. Who's that reg that I spoke about that's viewing and... Apparently very good as well. Uh, four bets and we call. Three nine deuce. Small. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I think you can you can call or raise here with queens. With queens, I think you can raise or call. Okay. With jacks, it might be like tens is probably not a raise here. Queens, you probably can. Ten turn check. Um, one third, check. Both are fine. Go for small. Yeah, it's good. 
Cool. Yep. Ten. Check. Probably just a jam in GQ, I would imagine. I don't think there's anything else to do in theory here that gets miles away from a check because theoretically over pairs in his shoots are jamming turn almost always against your bet. So he shouldn't have kings or aces here, like very frequently. Um, 10x is also like, it's possible, but again, ace 10, I think jams turn a lot. And king 10, not that many combos. That said, he did four bet. So like in real life, you could maybe take the argument of what are they going to call you with that you beat if you jam? But like you could definitely make that argument. Yeah, because like, Jax oh, doesn't exist. Jax doesn't really exist, and they're meant to call Ace King here and stuff, in theory, yeah. in order to like not always fold. So you might make an exploitative check here, but theoretically this is definitely a jam, but you might make an exploitative check in a spot such yeah. as this one. I agree with everything yeah. you said. I ended up checking. Nuts. Love it. I, I, I like the idea that like people don't understand like how urgent it is for them to jam turn there, and yeah. that just changes our strategy entirely. Yeah. Like, like absolutely like completely throws a spanner in the works so yeah mm. that's why we start with theory mm. and then we need to be willing to listen to the exploited voices in our sure. head that tell us like how to how to deviate agreed four big blinds from danny so we think he's probably a fish uh we do for the small three bet here i like to keep the spr a little bit bigger against fish so i use the smaller three bets against them i don't know if that's good or not it's just something i do yep. um they call king 310 small mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call four of clubs. Yeah, you can you can bet, you can check. I go for two E. Good. Yep. Call ace. Oh man, this is so close. Uh okay, so it's like ace queen. He's gonna have some slow plays to beat you, he's gonna have some queen jack. I don't think you can shove. You can probably like fifteen percent pot or check, I would imagine. Throw oh, it. I love it, Nick. God, you're, you're like, a, you've really taken that lesson we had on like analyze your equity and choose your line. I'm doing you've my fucking really bollocks here, mate. Board. I haven't won a pot in fucking seven weeks. Doesn't matter. You're <laughs> analyzing your equity. You should be proud of yourself. I'm proud of myself. Well, what are we doing now? Against this. Oh, just gold. Like you're just in yeah. like 100% of the time. Okay. Good stuff. Like, if we gone all in, I might be a little bit more like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, people don't bluff with that sizing. Yeah, like, that's, that's a fish. Like that sizing is a fish. Like they're not yeah. bluffing. So. Um, aggressive regular. Mm -hmm. Calling I think calls good. I think folding is yeah. not terrible either. Okay, we're very deep. Yeah, I'd call. Uh, ten nine deuce, and they go for this. I think this is probably pure call at the stack depth against the sizing. The sand is really bad flush draw. It's suffering a bit from reverse implies. I think it's a pure call. We call turn a pair check. Um, is there any utility in bet here? So I wouldn't start bombing. I don't like that at all with this hand. It mm -hmm. opens the door. It's not necessary. Could you make like quarter pot? Could you build in quarter pot here? Probably. Could you do it with this hand? Probably yes, because there's a couple of things going on. One is like Phil and has ace king, ace queen, ace jack, king queen, fold equity is useful. I don't think you're going to get raised a lot in this spot. To be honest, but I think check is just the most normal play here. You could maybe build in a small bet. I would check. We do check. River of mm -hmm. flush. Mm -hmm. And they pot. Oh, they're repping like flushes plus and you're never folding. Well, they're repping like close to flushes plus and you're never folding. So easiest call I've ever seen. 8 4. Wow. Yeah. Never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we move. Ace Jack of Hearts. Um, we open get a three bet and call this is a i call them stainbury uh so it's a tight reg yep six queen four i go for small yeah i think you can raise their call i, I like playing about with raise here i've noticed yeah. that you play mostly call only in this spot but yeah when you have time have yeah. a look at a solver plug in like a raise to like 19 Mm. And then look at like what they're meant to do, and you'll probably be quite enticed by that. Yeah, that's all I'll say. Also, mass data, Grady, lecture. God, I'm gonna embarrass myself now. <laughs> lecture five, I think, is all. No, it's not. It's lecture eight. It's all about Close. inventive exploits that feature raise lines and how yeah. overfolded many of them are, especially in three bet pots. So there that's a guess. cool one. That's one of my favorite lessons in the course. Code Easty, fifteen percent off. Let's do it. 
this much. Okay. I would cult, I guess. I mean, do you play much jam here? You probably don't play a lot of jam in this spot, right? Like at all. You could possibly you could probably uh, jam. I mean Yeah, I yeah, I mean what would we jam? Something like pocket tens, although like tens, all of our value yeah. seems like it's like you're just gonna call, then we'll just fucking call the river, like whatever. I think you can simplify this to call only. I think if yeah. you, I'm gonna make a guess here. Mm. If you've got any solver nerds in your audience, I do. I don't know if you do. Oh man, have I ever got solver nerd in my audience? They'll look it up, right? So probably the solver raises the spot like six percent of the time total. Okay. Right. And then there's a strategy built around that. That's a guess. Comments, okay. let me know if I'm right. Um, mm -hmm. so you could drop that, right? You could just say I'm not gonna bother playing that and it wouldn't be a huge deal, I don't think. But I think Jam's all right with this, but call seems normal. Call ace. Mm -hmm. Check. Um, seems like a check. I think this is too thin. Check. Yep. Good. Ace king. Love it. Ace queen. Mm -hmm. Open. Big blind three bet. Yeah. One call. Dirty deep. We call. Nine three jack. Mm -hmm. And they bet. Small. Super indifferent. Like very mm. indifferent between yeah, yeah. all three options. Yeah. I think if this was a the jack was a king, we might start folding. But yeah. If yeah. the jack's a king, I just looked at the spot this morning on my yeah. stream, you do actually mix fold. Yeah. yeah. It's probably a call against this. They'll yeah. justify, but it won't be winning much. Queen turn. They bet very big. Cycle. Cycle. Rivers of five of diamonds. All in. <laughs> it's one of those spots where I just sit there and like, is my ace good or is my ace bad? <laughs> I just can't. It's both. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. But how it's, much better, like I just sit there in my whole time back and think, but the, yeah, the ace, then I don't remember where to draw the line, you know, and then I just feel like I've got a call sometimes. Spend the entire yeah. time on the ace and <laughs> yeah. not on like whether the spot's over Yeah, yeah, above, exactly, so. exactly. So let's just recap of what I told you about Grady. So the spots like this Please in do. late position on average textures are about a three out of five, mm -hmm. meaning like they're coincidentally balanced. It's not mm -hmm. that your opponents are playing like GTO bots, but they're accidentally about balanced here. But I'll give you another clue. I'm giving away too many free secrets here, but this texture is definitely under bluffed. So if the baseline is balanced and the texture is under bluffed, then this swings to under bluffed. And I would fold because I think against big blind, this ace is actually bad because they don't have a lot of ace suited. They have some, but they mostly have like, they have ace off more as their bluffs. They have ace 10 off, ace 8 off, stuff like this if they're playing properly. Yeah, I think this spot is just pretty under bluffed. Yeah, I think I'd fold. I think I would fold here. I don't love it. And I know it's probably. It might not be what the solver does. I thought it probably isn't what the solver does, but I think exploitatively, this is a good one to fold. Oh, you're doing so well with the exploit folds. You definitely, you've <laughs> definitely had like an epiphany about exploit folding. You're doing a, you're doing way more of that than last time. I, I wish I could have, have an epiphany about fucking winning a pot. That would be nice. <laughs> um, aces, we squeeze the small blind, mm -hmm. call and fold. This is a reg bum hunt. Okay. Queen, queen four. Go for the small bet. Yep. There you go. Cool. Nine of spades. Okay. Um. Yeah. Anything's really good here. I'd probably play. You can play okay. some block. I'd probably just mainly play b60 if I was betting, mm. and or b50. And I think you can bet or check with aces. Uh, so going to be a bit more check with ace of hearts probably. Yeah, I agree. But not a huge deal. Yeah, I often will just mix in a little bit more check against uh, bum hunters than I usually would because I find they mm -hmm. they just take the rope more often than they don't. Yeah, they're playing like a yeah. simplified exploit game a lot yeah. of the time, right? So they're just kind of betting win check too. I like it. Um, goes check check and the eight hearts. Eight of hearts block probably block. Go for a check. Check's okay. I mean, the thing is though, they're just not going to bluff this node. So like, if you're going to check, you probably want to check fold like really big bets here against this type of villain. Um, yeah, this kind of sucks. Like the reason I was thinking about blocking is just that I think it's just more likely that we do better with that line. Um, it's yeah. a better line. That's why I want to do it because whenever your pool has like a really condensed showdown value range, they're just going to do a bad job of bluffing. Yeah. And the EV of like not value betting. Therefore, like if you do face a bet, it's going to be worth nothing against the bet. So you're not gaining on that branch, but you are missing out on some value. So I'd like a small bet here a lot better than I like a check. Yeah. Um, as played, I think you're doing really badly in this spot. I think against this particular sizing you're doing awfully actually and against the bum hunter 
I just don't you you even have the ace of clubs so you block ace 10 of clubs and ace jack of clubs i think i would fold i know that sounds like really crazy with aces but i think i would actually yeah. see this hand as a bluff catcher in an under bluff spot and i would fold i remember being pretty happy to call just because i think they over bluff and also i think genuinely in my insane dynamics that i managed to for some reason develop with these players they're gonna bet jacks with the heart or at least i tell myself they do um mm. Which I know is a stretch, but like you, the things I've seen, I I didn't really think about this one for too long. But I can definitely see where you're where you're coming from. There, we did call. They have ace yeah. queen. Obviously. I think you do really badly in that spot in real life. Yep. Never mind. A um, few more hands to go on this first part. Ace ten offsuit. Um, this is a fun one. Mm -hmm. uh, they three bet. We four bet. Mm -hmm. They call again deep. Um. Queen nine deuce, not awful. Got good suits. So two set making cards for Velen. So again, mm. when you're deep in a far bet pot, that's something you just want to have a glance at. Yeah. Queen being their best Broadway, definitely not a range bet spot or anything near it. I think you can third pot, quarter pot, or check your hand. Yeah, I go for forty for those reasons because it means I'm not going to bet. I'm going to have I'm going to have ace ten off like ace of hearts, ten of clubs. I'm not going to want to bet that. So mm -hmm. I decide to just size up here, mm -hmm. and they call jack of spades. Wow. Ah, uh, okay. So, what sizing are we playing? Like quarter pot? Yeah, so I was between quarter pot and all in, and I couldn't mm -hmm. decide which one I preferred. Um, I don't think we should use all in here on three flush. It's just like, mm. it, does, it doesn't achieve that much on three flush here to go all in, I don't think. On a, on a blank jack, villain has a ton of mergy medium hands, but they're just a little more polar. Not yeah. that many of their hands are going to be indifferent against all in. They're going to have more auto printing calls and obvious folds against all in than they are against like a smaller sizing on this kind of texture. Mm. So generally the goal with sizing is to make as much of villain's range indifferent as you can while also just achieving your goals for the SBR and your value range. And I think you can do all of that here with a B25 or B33 or something. So I in, wouldn't go yeah. all in here. In game, I did go for that. I think when I checked this, this was all in on the turn in theory, but really I yeah I, I think I, I i might be wrong i this is mm. like a month ago um i could be wrong and they shove well, simple pot odds equation yeah um that looks like a call to me with this many outs i don't see how we can fold we need 26 percent, but i think we've got more than that yeah just about not by much yeah we do call mm -hmm. and lose to queen jack yeah fair enough yeah, yeah so that's the second last time is that last time? Um, no, there's more. Okay, let's go. Sorry, on. mate. We've got to keep going. You committed to this project. I'm suffering <laughs> from hand review attrition now. <laughs> got this. This is part of the fun, right? We open Queen Jack, uh, big blind calls. We check. They check and we bet small. And they reminds me of that thumbnail joke thumbnail I made in the intro. It was like, I review 10,000 hands. Yeah. Like, <laughs> doing like a screen mask face. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. We bet small, they call turn. Mm -hmm. I imagine I mix two thirds and check. Mm -hmm. I do check. Happy with that? Yep. River straight. Yep. And they check. Okay. So I think you can overbet. You can pop. You can B75. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. I'd be yep. 60, 70 or something. And yep, they raise. Question is is this ever a jack? Meaning a non king jack jack. Um, yeah. Is it ever just a jack? Is what I should say. This sizing, it would kind of surprise me. I think when most people have a jack here, they're going to raise to like 19, 20. They're going to try and like actually be paid by worse hands. Like this is a really bad sizing to use with naked jack X, I would think. Yeah. In, in theory. Yeah. Honestly, they probably. So they have like. Oh, God. I don't know. I'd, I'd still. I'd, I'd probably call this combo. Mm -hmm. But I do think that. It really is very villain dependent again. So, like, if you're against the fish here, yeah, then you're in a situation where they're probably just going to have king jack all the time. I think it's but a if tight reg. A, if you're against a tight reg, then that's going to be similar. But if you're against like a more active reg, the thing is, right? If they have the thought of like, hey, I'm going to bluff this guy here, I have a blocker. All they have to do to bluff is like have a card in their hand that they think is a good bluff, like have jack nine or something like that. Just like, sorry, that's a straight. Have like a nine or have like a. A ten or something and decide to bluff, but I yeah. do think that this is really under bluffed by almost everybody, apart mm. from like really aggro regs. So I don't think folding is that bad here. I really don't. 
No, oh, dude, cool. Super hard to vote here, but I think Shock. this is like an overwhelming amount of King Jack in reality. Yeah. I'd probably call in game, but then like yeah. I'd have a sinking feeling that I should have maybe evolved oh, it. I'll never look at the yeah. spot and I'll never fix the leak. So yeah. it's one of those. Well, at least we're here doing it. Wait, is this the. I mean, when, am I, when are we going to get. Okay, so there's two hands left, mate. Two hands left. Cool. Stay away. Cool. Stay with me, man. Ran out of coffee like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, it's because we had a crash. <laughs> well, yeah. I did. Three bit the They start turn. drinking the like yeah. sludge at the bottom of the <laughs> yeah. cup now. You might need it for these next two. I'm going to tell you now. <laughs> Give uh, me that fucking sludge. Yeah. Um, so we three bet the small blind here against another bum hunt reg. Um, mm. Welcome to the games. Um, and. Oh, by the way, someone had an idea, and let me know in the comments, guys, if, you, if you're interested in seeing this, but people thought it'd be interesting for you to come on my stream and play in my pool, and we'll get everyone to bum hunt you and see how you uh, oh, get that'd on. that'd be so fun. <laughs> we should definitely do that. I'm, yeah. I'm up for that. I'll actually make a deposit on 888 just yeah. to do that, like, for sure. Yeah, use my link, exclamation mark, today. Um, anyway, so we go for a, I think I went for half pot check and ended up checking. Okay. You're, yeah. you're okay with I'd, that? I'd probably, I'd probably go third pot check yeah, and yeah, usually yeah. check, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, nine of diamonds. Mm -hmm. I just... So I'm thinking this particular hand would... Well, it depends how you're building here. I think you can have block. For, for sure you can have block. Yeah. You can also have like 75. Yeah. And you can have check. I'd guess against pool there too margie here and probably not bluffing enough on this node now as played although maybe they are no i, I i'm not going to make up reads that's a made up read mass data doesn't actually support that here so i think you can either check or bet here and i don't really have a strong feeling i check i like it i think it's fine and they check back eight of diamonds on the river right now i'm definitely value betting because i think after two checks like yeah they have made hand like pretty damn often in the spot so i think i'm value betting now um this seems reasonable. Yeah. All in. God, really? That's what I thought. <laughs> I mean, you have the 10 of diamonds. If king, queen of diamonds, queen, jack of diamonds, king, jack of diamonds, it didn't bet turn. That's possible. Yeah. Do they jam like eights for value? Maybe. I don't know. I would say, if, mm -hmm. it, if it helps, I would say yes, because it's me. Mm -hmm. I mean, see if I don't, think this guy is like a, either coming after you for stream fame or a really aggro good reg i just fold every single one of my bluff catchers in a spot like this against unknown because yeah. river raises of big bets are i don't even this isn't even a great easy secret because everybody just kind of knows this already but river raises of big bets are very very under bluff even when it appears the villain's not repping a whole lot for value they still have to have a bluffing range right and if you want to make an argument like Four out of five guys don't have a bluff button here. Well, that really decimates your EV against the pool. Yeah. So I just fold, but I, I I get it. Sometimes you're folding the best hand and it kind of sucks and you have a good blocker, but I'd still fold. Yeah, I didn't. I called. Yeah, so, so now the wheels are like slightly more falling off the, the car, you could say at this point. Are these hands after the last ones? Yeah, this chronological order, mate. Right. This is my cool. descent into madness, and you're going to get the it. second half, which is fucking bonkers. Oh, I can't I... wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you think the wheels are falling off? That's not good. Um, I don't think the, the wheels are falling off. I think they're like slightly beginning to buckle a little bit, but that's normal after like running like absolute yeah. shit for a while. I, I think... don't think the wheels are falling off yet, but I, I feel like we're seeing the initial cracks in the stone, maybe. I completely concur. It's very hard to stay like on track when you're just getting fucked every turn. You're not meant to. Yeah. Like my reaction yeah. today on stream when my site wasn't working quite right when I launched my thing was just yeah. to get off the stream because being on stream yeah. when bad shit's happening to you is like, it makes the bad shit worse, right? Because yeah, sure. now you have an audience. You're like in the yeah. Coliseum Absolutely. and there's a crowd watching you get torn apart by a lion yeah. or something. Like it's not nice. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of respect for what you do. It's not an easy thing to just stream during a downswing like that. Got to keep going, man. Got to market it. <laughs> like we're doing now. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Yeah. Uh, so crowd. this is the 25th hand. It's the last hand, guys. And I know on Pond and Opon, we usually do a fifth hand special hand. I would say that th this would be like prime fifth on Pond and Opon. I didn't... It, it's just chronological order. I didn't rig this. Although... Sure. Peak, yeah, yeah. But this is like peak, you know, Pond and Opon like territory. Mm -hmm. um, we got nine out of hearts. We open. And they three bet. Mm -hmm. And we call. Flop is six seven six with two hearts. Yeah. 
He's just checking, yeah? No donks? I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah. bother here against the big blind range. Yeah. Check, check. Eight of clubs. Mm -hmm. Um what sizing do I want to build here? I think check's fine. Yeah. I course. think block is fine. Yeah. Are there that many hands I want to block? Yeah, there's a few hands I want to block. Not tons. I think B75 is is okay. This hand. I'm favoring block or check with this hand. I decided sure. to check. Yeah. I like leaving villains range wide when I have a yeah. hand that has like mediocrity in many ways. Like it has mediocrity in big pots and it has mediocrity in small pots. Mm -hmm. If you see what I'm saying, because the flush outs are, well, you have a straight flush draw. The flush is not an utter flush draw. The board is paired. The pair is mediocre. Like I think the hand just like quite likes wide ranges and small pots. So I'm with block or check on this hand, I think. Okay. Nine of clubs. So villain's really quite polarized on this river, right? Like people aren't going to have many over pairs. He's either going to have a 10 or like some rare slow played thing, but more likely just nothing. Yeah. Um, I think if you check here, this will be really over bluffed actually. I think I would just check call because that way you only lose one bet against a 10. And also you just like allow villain to bluff like the absolute like massive amounts of king queen king jack that, that that they have here i think this is a check actually on this river i don't think you want to bet this river with this hand i don't okay. see the point i don't think people are going to call you with ace queen very often for example and i think they're going to over bluff if check to and i also don't want to get into some horrendous mess like against the straight either so i think i would just check a horrendous mess you say <laughs> <laughs> we go for the 27 I don't hate this, but yeah. I think I love checking this line because I think they won't overbluff against this so much, but mm. if you check, I think they'll really overbluff here. They raised the 22. Oh, I see what you're doing there. I, I totally see what you're thinking. By the way, if I check and they bet kind of big, yeah. jam is quite still interesting jam, theoretically. Yeah. But, well, yeah. I don't know if I'll do it or not. It depends, yeah, 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 but yeah. like theoretically it's interesting. Now jam is, of course, interesting. Like You're blocking the boats. You are repping the boats. It looks really strong. This is such a pun or no pun hand. Yeah, um, yeah. Should we just pop it? Should is... I pop it in? Just because I, 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 I'm not obviously not going to do anything else. <laughs> yeah, you're going you're gonna to do this. I'm going to say that I, I actually... It's just so fucking hard to have mm. anything here, man. When I have 9-8. For, you... For them. Like, they just have a yeah. 10. They have a 10, yeah. That's yeah. what they have. They, they either have a 10 or they're bluffing, but yeah. usually they just have a 10. And, and, and they, the they're best... Like... Sorry. Mm -hmm. Their best call would be like 10-9, but... I have a nine. Yeah, no, it's a great play theoretically. Like yeah. this is absolutely the hand that you jam theoretically. I just, I just, what really matters yeah. here is like what's the true fold equity against the ten when it's gone check check all the way to the river, and then villain thinks they've got a good hand, and then you do this. I don't know. It's. I know I've really got boats great. here. It's very frustrating because I know I've got boats here. I know that it's just that you don't get to project yeah. like your understanding of the spot exactly. in villain's mind, which no. is why we always hate on represent at the, yeah, yeah. the carrot corner, you know. Um, I don't think this is that bad, though, against most regs. Like, I think most regs are going to at least stop in their tracks and consider folding here. But it, it does strike yeah. me as a GTO play that is, like, okay in GTO and horrendous yeah. against some villains and okay against others. So yeah. if I didn't know the opponent, I wouldn't do this because it's, like, break-even against a lot of people and terrible against fish and stuff like that. But against the right reg, this could be a great play. So it's super dependent. Yeah, so I um I jam. Uh, and what regs do in my spot? I know you're talking about what regs do. What regs do in my spot? They go, I go, oh god, that's a lot of money. And then they go, oh what is that easy with the avatar and the badge? Oh, oh what have I got a straight? Oh yeah, cool. That's what they yeah. do. That's what they do in the play against me. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do this then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then I just, I'm just sitting on the on stream, nut peddling. What's the point? It's boring. You're not nut peddling. You're just avoiding a spot that is totally different in real life than this. In theory, I get it. This is a spot where. You want to show off your prowess. You want to be like, I've studied this. I know this is a thing. I can recognize blocker patterns. This is cool. I'm going to do it because it's fun. But at the end of the day, you've got to decide, like, what are your population doing against you? And the MDA for your population, when you've got your silly avatar that looks about 15 years older than you look, by the way, the avatar. Just right, I, that I'm avatar. already losing all my fucking money. If you wouldn't mind, just I hammering. complimented you. I said that you look 15 years younger than that guy. Yeah. That's good, right? I'll, I'll take it. But at some point, you might just have to say, like, okay, is there a way I need to start playing on stream that actually exploits the way people are have, playing against me on stream? I haven't and then, figured like, it out yet. Is it a sellout for you to do that? Would you consider yourself selling out to, like, not make this play because of the 
phenomenon that the regs are going to call it off against you. I mean, I yeah, think, like, but... you should come first, right? You yeah. should come first, really. But then these hands are also... I mean, I don't really... I, I don't play poker to make money. I, I, I don't think I'd enjoy myself if I didn't jam this river. All right. You know, what would Clancy say if I blocked this river and then didn't three bet jam it? You know, he, he'd disown me if he even owned me. So, you know. Where is Clancy? Who knows? Clancy, who, are you out there? Who, who, <laughs> well, that is it for part one, mate. Uh, mate. Sorry. Um, basically, what happened, what you're seeing here is this is something I never did when I was, I was winning first half of the year, can you believe? Um, mm -hmm. And I never did shit like this because I was like, oh, I'll just win some other way, some easy way. <laughs> and then I stopped winning in any way. And I was like, fucking gonna find a way to win a pot. 20 big yep. blinds. Let me give me that. Give me that. 20 big blinds. And uh, they got straight. In the uh, yeah. I think it's just when you ask someone to fold a hand, if you ask a poker player that's not really good at poker yeah. to fold a hand with very high absolute hand strength yeah. in a dynamic where they're already a bit paranoid that you're doing stuff like this because it's you, the streamer, yeah. you're kind of asking for it. Yeah. But I get it. It's also really fun and you found a cool play and it's probably solver approved, but you've got to figure yeah. out like the way to get out of this downswing may well be to just keep doing solid things and wait for variants to, to turn the tables, you know? It yeah. could just be that. We're trying. We're, 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 we're think... currently on a regrind. We've won two buy-ins in a row. Yeah, there, there you go. It's already started. The recovery train is, is going. Yeah. But let me say one thing. Yeah. Every time I work with you and we make a video, your game gets better and better. And I'm not just saying that to like flatter you or make you feel better. You know, that's not my style. Yeah, sure. Where you were like a year ago, it's a completely different human being, like thought process wise from where you are now. So like maybe the buttons you click in game are still wrong sometimes. <laughs> yeah, they definitely but are. <laughs> the thought processes behind everything are just like night and day. They're yeah. so much better. So I've no doubt this will, this will stop at some point. Appreciate you know, it, man. Poker, poker has more variance than anyone would like to admit. Yeah especially cash game six max it really does i think you should uh just reserve that judgment until we see the 25 hands on your channel which may or may not paint me in a different light well <laughs> i'm being polite because i'm a guest on your channel yeah, here. Yeah, when sure. it's my channel i'm gonna oh, like eviscerate me eviscerate reverting me. Yeah. yeah well i'm looking forward to that when will it be live just so everyone knows when to go it will probably be so this is coming out on wednesday 20th yeah it'll probably be that friday or something probably like friday 22nd would be my guess yeah. but... so we wouldn't have to wait long basically guys just keep just no. make sure you sub to the channel which will be linked below carrot corner poker education if you are interested in grade e guys a lot, a lot of talk about that today make sure you use my code to get 15 percent off code east down below as well and all the links to all of pete's stuff will be there as well pete sorry about the technical issues today thank you for persisting with me i know it's been a very very busy day for you um but i really appreciate you taking the time to come and do this with me always a pleasure to have you on and thank you very yeah. much for all your help today. It's been so fun. Hang in there, man. Keep up. Thank you, buddy. And yeah, see you guys on the next one. All the best.